The breast in an adult female represent an elevation of various size in the anterior chest wall. In the most anterior part of it is the nibel areola complex. The nibel is a dark protruding structure while the areola is a dark area of skin surrounding the nibble. Behind the areola are the lactiferous tucks. The base of the breast extends from the second to the sixth intercostal spaces and from the lateral border of sternum to the mid axillary line. The greater part of the gland lies in the subcutaneous layer just below the skin, while a small part of it known as the axillary tail extends upward and laterally and pierce the deep fascia just below the lower border of this muscle which is the pectoralis major muscle to enter the region of the axilla. The breast is composed of fatty part and glandular part. The amount of the fatty part varies from one female to the other, which result in variation in the size of the gland, while the glandular part is usually constant in size. However, it might be affected by the different physiological conditions like pregnancy and lactation. Internally, the breast is divided by connective tissue septa, known as the suspensory ligament of Cuba into 15 to 20 lobules. Each lobule has a duct that travels and open independently into the nibble. Behind the breast is a space filled by loose connective tissue called the submammary or the erythromammary space, which houses a lymphatic plexus. So the breast is an elevation in the anterior chest wall, and the most anterior part of it is the nibble, then surrounded by the areola, and behind the areola are the lactiferous ducts, and the breast is composed of fats and glandular part, and behind the breast is the retro memory space, and this part of the breast is called the axillary tail that extends upward and laterally into the axilla.